Welcome back, my friends, to another episode of Imperium Galactic Survival. We are playing Alpha 10 Experimental. Let's continue from where we left off. And uh, I think we left off um, with me finishing off this base and uh, trying to explore a little bit the map. Wow, wow, we got a warning message. And I have here on my. Um, to do for this episode, like, let's go and visit the Polaris since we, di we didn't have yet uh, any kind of base attacks and I don't know when we are going to get it and load the game and there it is, a base attack so the Zarax are going to attack us whoa, 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 whoa. where are they? so fast uh, one drone, two drones uh, you are shooting what? you are shooting whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on here? Going to go on. Okay, this guy is a rocket drone. Okay. Congratulations, you successfully defended your base. And they, they shot a couple of rockets. Did they break anything? One block over here. Let me check the turret. Uh, 600 uh, hit points gone. And let's let me go and get the spoils. I even did not check how many drones it was. Okay, that was crazy. Just after reloading. Just after reloading. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. And I have here a laser rifle. Okay. So, don't I get a warning where the drones have fallen off? That is the other one, but no. No red blip. It was a minigun and the rocket drone. Okay. So, that's really, really nice. So, it's working as intended. Of course, um, Still early on, on the in the game, uh, I think um, what um, counts or the the perimeters that are used to uh, uh, to define the scale of the base attack, I think it has to do with of course the relations, which we are pretty much the worst that we can get. Um, but uh, uh, it's it's not only the relations, but um, uh, that's the size of your base which i think if i read correctly i have to double check it has to do with the uh, with the power output that you uh, have currently on your base and we have just a small generator and a small fuel tank so um, our footprint should not be that big but we are going to try to increase it and see how that... Um, um, I don't know if the number of defenses that we have also account for uh, calculating the attack. I don't know. Um, okay, but that was fun. And let's uh, start now a, a little bit uh, without too much emotions. So, uh, for today's episode I wanted, before having this base attack, I wanted to check the Polaris. I have between the episode uh, gone around the planet two to three times to uncover most of it. I finally found the Prometheum deposits. I found eight out of eight. Um, some cu curiosities that I have here noted that uh, I don't know if it's common or not. First off, the the um, the, t the Titan mid front and I don't know where the back is perhaps over here they are smack in the middle of the Xyrox uh, borders which if it's someone's first game on Empyrean I don't think that they would appreciate if the quest uh, would send them to the Titan and then you, you, you had to go into the middle of the or in the middle of the Xyrox um, Jetpack. These guys are annoying. Okay. So, 
as I was saying, um, I don't know um, if, if I, 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 don't, I haven't done it at all in a long time, the starter quest, I don't know if it's exactly the same, but uh, somewhere um, somewhere uh, in the middle of the starting quest, I think, it points you to the Titan parts, and in this map, of course it's random generated, the, the Titan parts or the Titan uh, pieces of the of the capital vessel they are smack in the middle of the Zyra, of one of the Xyrax uh, um, um, areas which uh, there should be around here a lot of patrols so uh, I when I did that mission I went there with my, my with my bike and if I had to go there with my bike I would probably die so, uh, and for the map, anything else interesting? I found a lot of uh, permitting deposits. I found one very well placed. It was this one here. It's near the alien tower. Again, the, the tower that you have uh, to go uh, right at the start of the, of the quest line. I got the, um, a little bit, I only left 10%. Uh, I started digging with my survival tool, which comparing to Alpha, Alpha 9 it's on the same speed as the first drill and then I made with the first uh, ores that we get from Prometheum I made the drill uh, the drill charges and then used this drill which is uh, the drill tire 2 amazing amazing they have increased a lot the, um, the power of the drills let me see if I can show you uh, where is it where am I where am I um, it's so fast to drill with this um, um, tool that that's amazing I have been here uh, spending some time I, I am starting to make a, an underground um, anger so um, I have been using my uh, drill which I think it's called just drill it, it, it is no longer the tire 2 it is it was the drill tire 2 on alpha 9 let me see let me double check tools Tools, yeah, we only have the survival tool which branches out to the drill and I think that's pretty much the maximum that you can get I think you might be able to find the the epic drill but uh, uh, the one that you can craft I think the only one it's this one the drill so and you can see let me just uh, resource the drill it's very fast very very fast indeed I don't know if you remember how fast you could uh, uh, destroy rock, but look at this. It is like a knife through butter. So nice. So I have been here. When I have some time, I am trying to open up a hole, place perhaps a door somewhere along these lines and have here a, an underground anger. And of course, and after that attack, of the of the Cyrax, I really want my vehicles to be inside because I don't know how strong the attack is going to be and if it's going to be a strong attack I would really really like not have my vessels dis destroyed so that I think it would be a nice a nice thing and let me just go here in my hover vessel I will of course uh, heal myself do I have anything to eat? Mm -hmm. No more steaks. Let's make some steaks. Where are they? Where is this? Okay. It can be you. Let's make some steaks. Okay. Um, so, uh, I'm going to show you guys uh, how fast you can drill a deposit with this drill. It, it, it's pretty much like um, I have shown you the uh, drilling stone, but it's amazing. I think it's a really, really nice change from previous alphas because getting resources, it was a little bit on the boring side. I don't mind it, but I think it, they could, it could be a little bit faster. And I think this change, uh, it made it a, a lot more bearable. Um, and let me see anything else. Uh, anything else that I wanted to show you guys? No, it was just the underground hangar and the map. Okay. And as you can see, pretty much all of the deposits that I have found. I found one, the gold one, 
it is on the top over here very small i think you need gold to make them and booster for your armor if you don't find it before to uh, which is a, the eva booster which will allow you to go to, to the moon so if you want to go to the moon and we haven't found yet or bought the eva booster you can um uh, and let me double check let me double check let me go to a constructor I think it's easier to show you guys Here it is, EVA boost, look at the crafting input items, steel plate, optical fiber, nanotubes and the gold ingot, which is the hard part to find. And this EVA boost, what gives you it's the cold protection, which is in deep space, it's your main enemy. Uh, okay, I think I have everything that I need, just grab something to eat. Mm -hmm. I don't know uh, the time inter intervals of the base attacks but I hope we can I'm going to use my um, my small vessel so it's going to be f uh, if I need to return to, to my base quickly it's, uh, it's going to be faster let me see uh, okay some bullets I still have the bullets storage bay let me place you here here and I can use you here, just trying to sort the confusion that it is in my inventory. I can sell the laser rifle. Okay, so usually on my let's plays, even uh, I'm playing experimental, I'm trying to be a little bit quicker than usual. Um, I don't like, I think it's a very easy way to make money, which is mass producing uh, some, uh, some kind of weapons and then sell them all, all, all at the trader. So what I usually do is, if I want to sell weapons, I have to find them. Uh, I have to kill Xyrax, I have to loot them on the, on the Xyrax, on the containers, but I, I, I am not able to build them myself. It's my house rule. Okay, manage. Okay, I think we are ready to go. Turn on the thrusters. Do I have any lights? Yes, I do. Is it because the weight? I think it is. And why? Why is it? No. Oh. So strange. What do I have? A oh, crushed stone. It is, of course. It is, of course, the crushed stone. Let me go to the base. I need to craft something and yeah and now we can fly and now we can fly so we are going to go power plant where is the trader show me the trader I'm pretty sure that I saw the trader I, I, I even uh, think it was on the... It was uh, recorded on video. But I think it's over here. What I have uh, noticed, uh, but I'm playing... Um, I'm playing experimental. Um, some of the POIs, they don't get a marker on the map. I've noticed that uh, some of the Talon uh, the villagers, village, villagers, uh, they don't get a marker on, on the map. So uh, let's see if that's the case. I haven't been in the in the in the, in the, in the trader for a long time, so let's see if I can spot any changes.
at least it's daytime and we have nice weather uh, in contrast of the last episode that was an awful awful weather today we have partly cloudy which is a nice weather that you can even go to the beach catch some sun and let's approach let me see if Polaris you are neutral and uh, uh, there is another thing that I want to test out here in the Polaris sector which is mine a little bit for instance this promethium deposit I want to see what's the reputation penalty when I mine something when we are neutral because if you are friendly you don't get any penalty so you don't know uh, the drawback but let's imagine that I haven't found any other promethium deposit I really needed to get some promethium let me see how bad the reputation is if we start mining so I'm, going, I'm just going to get a little bit let me just park here Whoa. Okay, let's use the drone and before let me check the reputation so Polaris we have 5,500 points I can call it that points reputation points let's start mining we start seeing if how many points do we I got a little bit of Prometheum I'm not seeing any rapid oh, 19 six, six, 19 okay so, so we got 20 promethium how many points 100 yeah eh, well uh, we have the almost a full bar but I think yeah we can let's mine a little look at the, the speed of the of the mining look at this so fast it's so so fast I, I'm looking forward to have a mining vessel and seeing the difference because if you if it's this difference with the with your um, with your um, drill I, I, I mean I am just imagining how good it's going to be with a mining um, Hoover vessel with six drills uh, so 52 and let me check the penalty almost uh, 400 yeah on, on 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 the ballpark of 400 points yeah it's it's we we, we could get uh, both of the deposits and we wouldn't leave the neutral reputation okay that's nice that's nice so if you are in a tight spot you can shoot a, bu a bunch of xyrax to have enough reputation to to mine somewhere in in the in the Polaris um, uh, territory or of course on the Talon I think the probably mining one of these resources the penalty is going to be exactly the same um, like if you were on the Polaris sector and of course if you are friendly you don't need you don't need ever again to to worry about uh, mining on on their territory unless you that there, there it is the trader unless you lose your uh, reputation uh, trading station Polaris trading station map why is not the Polaris trading station marked on my map it's not the only POI let me see even this one here's the corp or the farm I think this one is the farm it's a well-known one nope and what happens here in the Polaris it also happens in the um, I, I, I remember flying around somewhere in the Talon territory and there were a couple of POIs that did not get marked on the map okay. I think they probably is going to it's going to be solved in the near future so let's park over here in a nice parking area and let's go down and check the and, and check the what they have to offer okay. uh, my friends uh, if you uh, have some comments on the um, pace of this let's play let me know in the comments I, I would really appreciate it I always try between the episodes 
spend one to two hours doing all, the, all of the grindy part of the game. Gr and grind it's uh, perhaps not the best word, but for instance, uh, digging a, tun a tunnel or uh, upgrading my base or um, going out to mine some, some deposits. For me, all of that, I usually like to do it between episodes. Even more so, we are playing experimental, so I want to push a little bit um, the game uh, um, to reach the middle game and to try to check out all of the new changes on, on Alpha 10. But let me know in the comments, uh, how do you feel about the pace? Uh, I have my feelings about it, but I really like to, for, for others to, to comment on it because you might have different uh, different opinions. For instance, um, I have found now that I have the Prometheum, I can make multi charges, and I will probably return to 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 to, to the crash capital vessel on the north that we have been there in the first episodes. Where is it? You capital vessel. Where are you? Uh, it's it's to the north or to the south? Ah, it's to the south. Yeah, it's this one. It's, it still has my core and it's why it's it's green. So I, I will return there because I left a lot of um, um, I left a lot of um, stuff to deconstruct um, and I have found more. So I have one more here. I, I, th I think it's exactly the same POI. So it's uh, it's a treasure, a treasure of stuff that you can uh, deconstruct. Uh, let me see. And I think I have found even one, one more, one more like crash capital vessel. I think I have one more. Let me see. I think it's over here, and then I don't know even if I if there is one more. I don't know. At least this one here, which it's in the middle of the water. So even if we are in the Zyrax territory, we should be we should be pretty safe um, deconstructing part of this capital vessel, um, and of course that's a prime target to do between episodes if you think it makes a good episode i don't mind recording it but um, again I, I i would really like your opinion about it so hello mr trader oh i cannot oh now i remember we need to be friendly to trade with these guys how unfortunate yeah, yeah. we have here yeah yeah, there it is. And I forgot. It it says clearly over here. It says that you need to. Let me see. Uh, trading with a faction requires at least friendly or honored. You you'll get your price cut when. Ah, okay. Yeah, to to trade you 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 need to be friendly. If you are honored, you 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 will pay less for the for the for the for the items. So. Um, can I do some Polaris uh, to gain experience? Mm -hmm. I, I never did this, these quests. Uh, I don't know if probably in experimental, I don't, I don't think it's the, the wisest choice to, 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 to proceed on these quests, but I want to do them uh, because I haven't done it ever uh, when Alpha 10 reaches stable but I, I will skip them for now so that's we can of, of course there, there is always a, a good option to um to gain uh, polaris uh, uh, reputation which is the my preferred one which is shooting xyrax in the face so uh, let me see what can we still do on this episode it's clearly almost on time uh, we could of course um inspect some of these POIs but I, uh, I, st I really want to increase my Polaris um, reputation to, to be able to trade uh, but um, and looting just a couple of containers and it will drop a lot your reputation so um, I will try to avoid that for, for now let's see what can we do can we shoot some Zyrax in the face yes we can so Waypoint, and I can also explore this area. So let's let's just. And the ship is slow. Mm -hmm. I need to check if I have. Um, sometimes, sometimes I have, and I, it has happened to me before. 
uh, left in some of the containers some very uh, some stuff that wait waits a lot and that's the reason why sometimes my ve vehicles uh, looks like you are flying a brick but it's my fault because I left somewhere uh, somewhere I left something that it's uh, that has a lot of weight uh, and it's slowing down the, the vehicles I remember looting f in the previous let's play I looted some armored blocks I think it was 80 or 90 armored blocks and I, I complained a lot during a couple of episodes why was my hoover vessel all of the sudden very slow and of course the fault it lied clearly on me because I forget I forgot to um, um, drop those uh, armored blocks on my base and I was carrying them <laughs> all over the place so but I think it happens to all of us right at least I like to think it does we are reaching the and we have a lot of warnings nice on the, the radar which means that I can and uh, just to show you guys what I did while uh, after the last episode to unlock the map if you find if you go a little bit higher like uh, if you leave uh, like this 720 meters or 700 meters around that to um, to orbit you can fly over the Zyrax territory pretty much uh, and detect everything on the ground and you won't get shot so if you if you find a nice uh, higher um, flight um, rot rot you can uh, pretty much map everything without getting into trouble. So it's a nice way to avoid. Okay, I have been here. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, but the, re that one, <laughs> that one. You you please avoid it. It has a lot of. It, it, I think it, it's part of the starting quest, but it has a lot of turrets, so that's uh, you should avoid it. So I'm just trying to map some more armory. I'm seeing one more over there, two more, and I don't recognize that two, three, four. Wow. Silicon. Fuel storage, defense. Okay. So even with a very small vehicle, a small small vessel, an armored vessel, you can pretty much map your uh, your planet. Without uh, getting shot okay very nice very nice so yeah this is wow this is a very large and horrible territory from the xyrax so let's before finish in that turret that tower over there i have mapped it before but uh, i don't recognize the design okay but let's let's move away let's go to the outskirts of the tower of the Zyrax territory if we can to pick up those patrols but I, I still have a lot of exploring to do on this area of the map I, I have warnings all over the place Whoa. What the? it's still heavy it's still if I drop the thruster devices before I forget mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and let's make some let's make some fuel right Access. we have just three minutes left and I don't want to have to walk home. We have a nice permitting deposit. Can I try to find somewhere to shoot? So, um, just uh, for you guys to know, 
between episodes I will try to, if I can, uh, get some more uh, deposits, try to loot another um, capital vessel, because those don't even have any kind of uh, uh, rare container, so I won't find any ep epic weapon or stuff like that. I will find a lot of good resources, but uh, not uh, anything unexpected. But let me know in the comments. If you like, I will record everything. It won't change the pace. You will get, just get more, probably more episodes per per week. Uh, but uh, I don't know. Even I was watching my own episode about the base building, and I, I thought it was a little bit boring. I only recorded it because it's the, it was the first time that I was playing Alpha Ten, and. Um, I just was thinking that, that I could be attacked any moment, so I wanted to record while building the base to see when I was going to get attacked. But I did not, so it was a kind of nothing special episode. Any patrols? Yes, there. I'm seeing one over there. Hello! How are you? And 25 points for the Polaris. You get much more for, from the Xyrax, from the Talon, than, than you get from the Polaris. Okay. Can, I, can I land safely and go and check it out? And go and loot the bodies? Yeah, probably it's not going to end out well, but... Who wants to live forever? To live forever. Let's go and check the bodies. Because they usually have some money and some weapons that we can sell. Here it is, the money. Show me the money. And since I, I am not allowed to exploit weapons for money, it's a good way to get money. Where are the bodies? I would really like the bodies to, 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 to be marked on the compass. I would really, really like them. Okay. I think I'm missing one body, but I'm not seeing it. Not, not bad, look at this. Some food, some... I can sell this. If, if, if the trader buys it, I will sell it. So, let me go here. Where did I place the... Here it is. Fuel. Almost out of fuel. Okay, nice. Nice, nice, nice. And I will place everything there. And let's resume. Let me see. Reputation. Yeah. Uh, we, we lost a little bit because of my test mining. So I need to kill much more Xyrax. Let's just kill one more patrol before finishing off the episode. Do not approach those buildings you will get shot very very quickly let's see if i can check one patrol to this side it, it would be awesome a little bit further away from the the poi yeah but i i, I have might have something I need to, to check all, all of the containers. I'm pretty sure that I have something. Someone is shooting me? Look like it. Yes. Someone is shooting me and I'm not seeing who is shooting me. Yeah, it's, it, it's a little bit... Um, the controlling it's not easy so I might have something that is on my cargo bay that waits a lot yeah I'm pressing space and this is the my top 
speed going up. Where is who is shooting me? Perhaps in the middle of the trees, right? Uh, there it is, there it is, you are, you know what, I'm trying to be tricky, right? Just you? Oh, and some dogs. It's crazy. Dogs. But they give, the, they give you the same experience. Reaper dog. Okay, let's go, let's go. Let's go. So for for each patrol we get about 100 points, 100 points for the um, uh, for killing them for the Polaris reputation. And how is our reputation for the um, Talon? Because uh, with the rate that we gain, perhaps we are going to reach friendly with the Talon first, then we are going to reach the Polaris, or we are going to reach it at, at almost the same speed, the same speed. And I think you can trade pretty much everything with the Talon also. Let me see if I can find that crazy POIs that were not, not also detected on my map. Bazaar, guard post. Nope, these ones are getting all marked. So this should be working fine. Iron, just to the north. To the north. One more. Old tank station. This is a regular POI. I don't know. I have to check out. If you know, please let me know in the comments. If we loot a POI that it's inside um, uh, a, a faction, um, inside a faction territory but it's one of those uh, regular POIs. For instance, imagine that we go to this old tank station and loot some containers. Do we get any penalty? Because are we in the in the Talon territory? I don't know, I don't remember. So if you are kind enough and if you know the, w the answer, let me know in the comments. I would really, really appreciate it. Well, my friends, I hope you have enjoyed. We got our first base attack, so that's really, really nice. Let's see how... Um, how tough they get uh, as time goes by. I'm really uh, looking forward to it. Um, and I hope to see you all in the next episode. Hopefully I will be by then friendly with the, with the Polaris or with the Talon and we can do some trading. So I hope you have enjoyed it and I hope to see you all in the next episode. Until then, thank you.